Coming up next on Teardown, I have a 1976 KZ400. Really neat little bike. It's clean. It's uh, I got this at a public auction. There's no title, no key. It's strictly a parts bike in that state. You know, it's kind of really not worth messing with the things if they don't have a title or a key. Really low miles. 4,707 miles on the clock. I know absolutely no history about this bike. From what I can see, the right muffler, the end of it's ripped off, the brake uh, puller rod is bent in nearly a U-shape, right rear turn signal's got a little crack in it, the right lever tip's broken, but there's no dents on the tank. So my theory is, and I think it's a pretty good theory, is uh, probably the original owner bought this thing, rode it for a couple years, two, three years, just on the weekends, 4,700 miles is low miles. I believe the thing was wrecked onto the curb or something. If it would have been laid down on the street, there would have been some kind of rash on the, the tank or the peg or the front. There, there's no rash up high whatsoever. So I think this thing was probably crashed. The guy must have said, forget it. Too dangerous. And it must have got parked for 35 years because this thing's in pretty good shape. It's missing just a couple things. It's missing the mirrors, shifter. Pull those tires off there. I'm sure those are original tires. They're pretty weather check, unsafe. There's no rash up here at all. Broken lever tip. Gas tank's pretty cool. It's original paint. Unfortunately, the paint, the, the pinstriping's flaking just a little bit. I think the seat and the side covers are amazing for 1976. They don't get much better than that. There's the rip muffler and the bent brake rod. If you can see it, the lighting in here is not the best, but it's winter time here in Nebraska. The uh, side reflector is broken off there. This is cracked. It's got just a little rash right there, but no rash on the fender. So I think somebody hit a curb on it. Left muffler's in good shape. I don't think there's any rust. I'll have to flip it over when I get it off there and check it out well, but... It doesn't appear to have any rust. A little bit of tarnish, a little bit of weathering on the motor case. Carburetor looks about like new back in there. I don't see any weathering or rust on it. And the coolest thing about the tank is the inside, you're probably not going to be able to see this, but it is shiny and silver and clean. Now this controller up here somehow got some weathering on it, it's not the best. There's a little bit of rust down here on the uh, top bridge. The gauges look really good. Unfortunately the button's broken off of the high-low, the switch still works. And when I get the seat opened up, I'll hook a 12-volt supply up to it and see what works on the, the horn and the lighting. I'm, I'm suspecting it'll all pretty much work. This thing had to have been parked for a good long time. Still a little dusty. Uh, maybe wiped it off a little bit over here. These parts will actually shine up even better than what they're looking now. Some nice rims. It's so typical to see so much rust on the nipples. Rust spots on the rims and at least some of the spokes rusty and these actually look really nice. There you have it. At least some really good parts in here. Thanks for looking.